I was reading some info, uh, not information, I was reading history on British Acts, past British Acts. Only about 200 years ago, they tried passing an act to which if a woman was found to be wearing perfume, she could be convicted of witchcraft. Does that sound fucking rational? This was around the time where, where the British Royal Society existed, where they were trying to put forward sciences and all this sort of stuff. And they were trying to pass laws like that. The fuck? Th this was the wording of their act. Oh, uh, well, to the effect. Apparently having... Apparently a woman wearing perfume gave her an unfair advantage. What the fuck is the obsession with the fuck the whole English people and other persons having an unfair advantage? There is such thing as competitiveness and good sportsmanship, absolutely. So the, le the, the level, the playing field is level. But in all other matters of nature, in all other matters of the world, what the fuck is fair? Who came up with such a stupid idea? What in this world is fair? And that doesn't go to say that... Listen, don't take it the wrong way. It doesn't mean you should be unfair. This is the interesting part, the, the seeming contradiction. It doesn't mean you should be unfair. It doesn't mean you shouldn't try to make everybody's lives better. But what of evolution itself? What of, the, what of life itself is fucking fair? Evolution itself is geared towards nothing but advantages. You can't evolve. You can't be survival of the fittest unless you are equipped with the propensity to be or at an advantage. To be at an advantage. These fucking laws are nuts. So a woman, 200 years ago or so, could have been found guilty. Uh, I don't think it got passed, though, but they were trying to pass it. There were some similar laws framed. If you were wearing perfume and a woman, you yeah, you were guilty of witchcraft. You would have an unfair advantage over a man to which he would not be able to overcome such and not use his senses properly. And perhaps even be tricked into marriage. That's not a joke. That's actually what they tried tabling 200 years ago. So this is also a part of my series that the English, the British, not the English, the British proper didn't learn how to treat women properly until they went to Malta. So a lot of Caucasian women have this understanding that the rights they were given is something that they fought for, is something that their white men gave them. You bunch of fucking idiots. Malta was the capital during the 17, 18, the 16, 17, 18 hundreds of not only women's rights, but you were probably in a bad way if you were a man the men needed rights and that's not a joke the women <laughs> women in Malta dominated men I don't know what it was it's not that men didn't have their tenacity or their way or weren't brutes they were especially brute in that era in Malta but uh women were seen as to have unusual rights that no other women had anywhere else in the world when the British went to Malta, and when women learnt of that, learnt of it, they were like, hold on a second, why can they do this but we can't? And there, were a lot, there was a lot of trouble for a hundred years in Malta between the administrators and the locals and the nobles. You know, why can you women do this but ours can't? Can you act more like us? Can you, you know, deprive the women of this or do this or do that? They get fucked. What, what is your fucking woman a retard? She's a human being. Like me, probably better. That's how the Maltese men have always seen their women. Maltese men love women more than men. Or every time. Uh, you, you'll probably go, no, how can that be? Maltese men are always gathered together and they get along and you know, when they're at the the community thing or whatever they do in Malta. It's true, but that's it's different to how things are done here. A lot of men here, even in the US, have this weird bromance culture and want to hold each other's cock. In there, it's just like after work. Hey, Joe! You know, they start speaking and... Fuck it, that's it. Or if you're workmates, 
but 100% of the time, the Maltese men, they esteem the women a lot more than men. So don't get this idea that women's rights was fought for by white women. Oh my God. You, you, people need to look at history properly. They were tabling these acts like 200 years ago where women were, were, could have been convicted for witchcraft if they were found to have perfume because it's a fucking unfair advantage. What a dumb fucking law is that? So, I don't even know who wants to fucking sleep with British women anyway. Oh, fucking keep them the fuck away from me. I don't, I, it's not that, some of them aren't ugly, but they're just British. It's, it's, it's not the same thing as being English. The British women is just, they turn me off. They, even if they're like, they're not bad looking, it's just that they're British, they're British women. They talk weird, they, they act weird. And the interesting thing is, I've never slept with a British woman, so I can't speak from experience, but family members have, especially in the, the heyday, the British heyday of Malta, when they were still there, which was the entire time that particular family member was there. <laughs> he was the best looking person on Malta, fucking what do you expect? But, uh, they're the worst, the worst sex in the world. British women. They're, you know, all engaging. Yeah, no. You know, like, if you look at some of their fucking, the way they put their tits out and all that, they're very in your face and like they're God's gift to man or something, but they're the worst sex in the world. And the person who I got that advice from, I, I can count on his information 100 percent of the time worst sex in the world. It's not that they stink or anything or they're ugly, but they're just so dull and so dead. Fuck that. Thank God. That particular family member said, don't you ever fucking marry one of those ones. Fuck, they're bad. They're fucking horrible. No, no, no chance. They bring a fucking British woman you mean. I fully agree. I, I can pick up that scent. It's like that gene has been passed. It would have been passed because he was 24 or 25 when he gave birth. His sperm made my mum. So obviously those habits, those mental formations get passed on. Fucking like, the, I, I pick it up straight away. I think I am like an undoing away. Fuck, take it the fuck away from me. I'm not sleeping with no British person. I'd rather have sex with myself. It's long enough. Fuck. If I can make myself pregnant, I would. No, I'm not into British women. Get the fuck away from me. Irish women, on the other hand, I don't regard them British anyway, but Irish women, on the other hand, oh my God. Some Irish women, you, you just start drooling. They're fucking very, very, very attractive. They're completely different, completely different ballgame. The British women, oh my God. Get the fuck away from me. Fucking witchcraft, fucking bullshit. Oh fuck, that's funny shit. No chance. A million years when I fucking sleep with a British woman. Oh, fuck. Fucking turtles. Just looking at them, talking. It's like everything needs to be. Oh, it's just, I don't even want to start. Fuck, I'll be here forever describing how fucking stupid they are. No, 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 please, if you're a British woman, very tantamount to my attitude towards white women, just stay the fuck away from me. All will be well. You want to know something that's fucking funny? A lot of the women around the Mediterranean, they don't have a... They, they, they find Maltese men attractive, but it's not something unique or ex, uh, extraordinary. Like, Greek women find their men equally good-looking, if not more sometimes. Same with the Portuguese and Spanish and French. So there's no specialty among those nations, but... There is, and I'm not kidding you, there is something about Maltese women and men that drives the British insane. They are, I'm telling you now, and you, you may not agree with me, but I couldn't give a fuck. Like, I'm almost that close to calling it a scientific fact. British persons are attracted to Maltese persons more than anyone in the world, sexually. They've got a sexual obsession and infatuation with Maltese men and women. I'm not fucking with you. They are obsessed with Maltese men and women. 
they're not a, they don't they're not that sexually attracted to French that way, or Spanish, or Americans, or anyone else. Just the Maltese. And you know, Malta's not a big nation, but there's no other people around the Mediterranean that have that obsession, and, and rightfully so. Fuck, they're women and men are <laughs> probably better looking than the Maltese. But the English, uh, the the British, they're completely fucking obsessed with Maltese persons. What the fuck is it? What the fuck are they attracted to? Oh, it's fucking, it's an interesting thing. Somebody has to study it. What the fuck are British women, women attracted to Maltese men for? Wherever they are in the world, Maltese Australians, Maltese men, they're fucking obsessed. Is it the fucking genitals? Is it the fucking look? Is it, is it the arrogance? What is it? I, I'm really interested, but that certainly won't ever happen. Oh, I like my Mediterranean women too much. Even Indian women these days. Oh my god, they're good looking. Some Indian women. Holy god. I, yeah, I can. They, they just have this Portugueseness about them. It, it, even, even better than that. Oh, some Indian women. Oh my holy lord. They're good looking. Oh fuck. Uh, there'll be no. Um, you'll never see me with a British woman. Not on no cruise ship. Not anywhere. Fuck that for a joke. That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Imagine me like with the fucking hugging a fucking British woman and her speaking. 